Hello again. Uh, we're back for more Feed the Beast. Um, I actually did a whole bunch of off-camera work after the last episode, just because we were so low on resources, I, I just needed to do it. Uh, I didn't want to record myself doing all that, so we got our chests organized. Um, tools, ores, plant stuff, blocks and things, miscellaneous, uh, 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 machines, and bees. Um, I'd really love to get to bees, but I don't think we'll get there quite yet. So, um, let's see what we got. I, I went mining a fair bit and got a few more resources at least. Um, yeah, I grew a bunch of sugar cane, a bunch of wheat. Our wheat farm is a little bit bigger now, I think. Uh, yep. Took down the flax seeds because I didn't, didn't feel like I really needed them at the moment. But yeah, bigger wheat farm. Uh, I think that's all the same. I... Went back and forth from the nether a whole lot and hauled in a bunch of lava to power this thing up. Turns out, yeah, that does show lava. It's just that it takes like three buckets of lava before you start seeing any. Uh, one of the things we need to do is um, uh, get some power storage in here. I guess uh, I guess it's not crucial right now, but let's um, let's just see how to build a bat box. Uh, actually, heck, just out of curiosity, if I wanted to go straight to an MFE. That would take. Uh, do I have four diamonds to spare on it? If I, if I, no, I don't. Okay, so even if I wanted to do that, I couldn't. Uh, but bat box is pretty simple, right? Wire, three batteries, and some wood. Uh, so yeah, I'll probably build build that um, when we take a break here. But yeah, uh, where were we? This thing's still going. Uh, filled it, filled it up with lava too, just in case I want to make some more obsidian. So yeah, I realized um, I didn't really need to craft that diamond pick. Well, I didn't know it at the time when I made it, but um, oh, oh, uh, computer's making noise. Hang on. Okay, yeah. So I, I, uh, I didn't know at the time, but I didn't need to make this diamond pick because I can get obsidian from this igneous extruder. But since we have the diamond pick, um, there are some things we can do with those. It's an ingredient in the quarry. I'm not sure we really need one of those. Uh, I can also make a mining turtle with it. There's still elves for the moment, but I think that changes next year. Um, this is only a few days away now. Uh, so, what is this? Track relay or cart? That's a... I don't know what that is. Um, what? Ooh. Something's added a bunch of new types of turtles. Well, why is this? Oh, oh. Okay, so most of those recipes are turtles. All right, anyway, uh, stop getting distracted by that. But yeah, so I think uh, I think what we're actually going to do with this is put an enchant on it. Because look at my level. 44? Yeah, I have uh, haven't died in this world. But yeah, so we're going to craft some uh, bookshelves and an enchanting table. And uh, oh yes, we need to make obsidian here. Just let this do it for us. Um, yeah, so we're going to do that, and we'll be back. Sorry, sheep. You're just in my way a bit too much here. Uh, I'll wait till he grows up. <laughs> Don't feel like killing a lamb right now. Plus, I wouldn't get wool if I did. Well, we made our enchantment table, but uh, for some reason I was thinking I only needed 15 books. I actually need 15 bookshelves, so I need 30, wait, 45 books. Um, and I do not have enough leather to make that, so <clears throat> we'll work on breeding up our cows over the course of this episode. Um, yeah, so I remembered we hadn't finished our copper research yet. <clears throat> and uh, I remembered, for one, the, uh, the essentia that copper takes, and two how we can find that out. So if we just go to copper and roll over it, we can see that it requires Victus. Uh, so Victus, right, food, life, sustenance. So food is a good way to get that. Uh, let's try... Wheat has some. Let's just use that. Because, um, yeah, I'm not I'm not so short on wheat anymore. Okay, we have copper transmutation. And I think that's all of the metals we can do. Let's check our Thaumonomicon. Uh, if I can remember how my chests are organized. Yeah. Copper. 
Yeah, so gold, then these five, I think that's all, the, well, plus thaumium. Uh, so let's look ahead in the achievements a little bit. Um, I think we need this to make Traveler's Boots. Yeah, so the things I'm going to want to make from Thaumcraft are Wand of the Adept and Traveler's Boots. Those are the, those are the ones I care about. Wand of the Adept does not show up here, though, so I'm not sure quite what the route is to it. Um, but yeah, I know we have to advance these, uh, yeah, well, we'll do a little more research. Let's see if we can get this one. Um, so that's Arcane Stone, I believe. So let's do some research with Cobblestone and see if it gives us anything good. I have some on me, of course. Um, also running out of paper here. Let's give it a little more. <coughs> we have something. We have Fractus and I don't know what else. Uh, paper is a pretty good one. It has Cognito, which uh, is not too easy to get elsewhere. But none of that is what we're looking for. Okay. Yeah, I don't know exactly. Oh, oh, uh, I think I do know what we're researching here. This is probably, I'm guessing it's one of these two. So let's try Lux. Light. Nope, no Lux. Um, hmm, what else? Do I have any gunpowder? If I did, it would be in here, yes. Uh, okay, Ignis is different from Lux. I don't want to use it. Uh, let's use charcoal instead. Yeah, we have Ignis and Potentia. Good. Charcoal was a good choice there. Okay, so we got Elementum, yes. Fire energy is new very Yeah, so um let's see Elementum. Uh five vis, three fractus, six ignis, six potentia. Let's make some of that. That sounds fun. So six ignis, six potentia, three fractus. Uh we can get that with cobblestone and char where's my charcoal? Cobblestone and charcoal. Uh let's get our wand out. I'm trying to remember what this one does. Um might be confusing it with whatever that is. I don't remember what that's called. Uh, uh, wand. Goodness. Wand is a tool. It's in the tools chest. Okay. Uh, bucket. All right. So let's see. What else f did we do around here? I guess not that much. Most of my time is spent hauling lava and farming things. Uh, uh, wow. I'm... I'm uh, it's it's late here <laughs> trying to get this I, I had planned to record this video today and it's it it's like 3 a.m. or something uh, so we're gonna have a bunch of extra essentia in here just have to deal with that um, so yes three fractus six ignis six potentia so that's gonna be three charcoal and three cobblestone should give us one elementum, and it did. So this stuff. I know you can place one of these and it works as a heat source. Oh, wow! <laughs> okay, I didn't expect that. <laughs> okay, uh, so it does that, <laughs> apparently. Oh yeah, that's another thing I did. Uh, I fixed up my Lua script here to, uh, you know, while we have that open, I wanna, I'm gonna replace that with lava because that fire's bugging me. Um, Though we need to go get some lava. Use it all to make obsidian for the enchanting table. Yeah, so I fixed up my turtle's uh, bog earth script. It uh, works really well now. Um, let's see if we can do a nice demonstration. So it works best if these aren't, if, if there's the same amount of sand and dirt, but there's not. So we're just going to have to demonstrate like this. So I think I called it bog earth 2.lua. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go through this entire thing. Uh, yeah, let's just let's just show it working. Uh, so bog earth two dot lua. So it will fill its bucket and try to craft. If it fails to craft, it'll say, "Okay, I'm probably out of materials." So it'll check each slot and uh, let's let's watch what it's doing. It'll check each slot, look in the chest, and see if it needs anything out of it. Uh, get the materials it needs, then keep crafting. So it'll always cra uh, put it into this slot, then dump it into the chest up here. So yeah, we just call that script, and it will automatically uh, 
craft all the bog earth it can with the materials in these two chests. So I'm pretty happy with that. That's, uh, that thing is finished. Uh, now I would like to back it up onto a floppy disk because if a creeper explodes here, oh wait, no. Turtles can't be blown up by creepers, I think. I think that's right, but just in case I'm wrong about that or something else happens to our turtle, I would definitely like to have it backed up. So a disk can be made with redstone and paper. And we also need a disk drive, which is stone and redstone. I probably have those materials. Uh, I was gonna fill up the igneous extruder to get stone out of it, but let's just let's just smelt it. Ah, got some refined iron in there, so that'll that'll be crucial in machines. Cause yeah, I wanna <clears throat> I kind of want to do a bunch of machine building today. Uh, let's let's start looking while our stone smelts at what I want to build. So I want to make I'm gonna tr try something with a magma crucible. Um, heck, let's just go ahead and build on these. So two copper. Gold, redstone, two gold, glass, iron, okay. Some nether brick, I think I have two nether brick, that seems likely. If I did, it would be in this chest. Yes, exactly two, perfect. Um, let's put that diamond pick away since we're not gonna enchant it just yet. Extra wool, nether rack, okay. Uh, so yeah, we're building, building a magma crucible. We're short on glass right now, so I'm uh, macerating some cobblestone to get sand first. <coughs> so while we wait for that, let's back up our script. Um, so what you can do with this <coughs> is you can just stick it. Oh, yeah, that's zombie moaning. You can just stick a disk drive right next to a turtle, put a disk in it, and we have disk, so I want to cp bog earth 2.lua disk. So if we look on disk, we have bog earth 2.lua on it. Okay. Um, so I can just pick this back up, and this floppy disk has that copied onto it. So we have a backup just in case something terrible happens to our turtle. So we gotta get the sand out of here, smelt it, make some glass, and then we'll make a magma crucible. So the goal here, uh, these go in the machine chest, the goal here is to see if we can set up a circular um, uh, power system that won't require me to go out and get lava all the time. I said I didn't want to use solar panels because it's uh, easy free energy. This might give us free energy as it is. Because uh, I, I think it might be able to output more than it takes in to do its thing. Because a magma crucible, let's work on it while we talk. Um, a magma crucible can turn cobblestone into lava. It takes a lot of power to do so. Um, so I'm not sure that'll actually work. You can also do it with nether rack, which is uh, um, which I, I don't think there's actually a way to get nether rack uh, other than just mining it out of the nether. Uh, let's see... Yeah, microblocks... Okay, so there's a UU Matter recipe for it, but that'd be a waste of UU Matter. UU Matter is an advanced, uh... Advanced item from the Mass Fabricator. Uh, if you have Greg Tech enabled, that'll be the Matter Fabricator. It disables this crafting recipe. Um... Which requires a Lapatron Crystal... I wonder if we could actually build one of these. Probably not too far off from having the uh, the necessary supplies for this. Yeah, because yeah, that, that thing consumes a huge amount of power and very slowly produces UU matter. What you can do with UU matter is craft it in different patterns to make just about any block in the game. See, okay, now I'm just talking, not crafting. I'm trying to do both at once. Um, and yeah, you can make diamonds by putting nine of them in a grid. That's the most expensive one. Uh, you can make iridium ore with seven of them. That is used in quite a few reci uh, crafting recipes for things like quantum leggings, which I'm definitely going to want. So, yeah, I'd like to get a mass fabricator up and running. And it's the only... I'm not making armor. What am I doing? <laughs> I was about to make a chest plate. <laughs> I've been playing Waking Up. Um, yeah, just put up some video. Well, I'm putting up a video a day for that. Yeah, it's going pretty well. Um, so, remind me what the recipe is for magma crucible. Oops, not a magma cube. Bucket, nether brick, machine frame, redstone reception coil, copper ingot. Two copper ingots, and we'll be good to go. Copper. Uh -huh. Oops, like that. 
and a bucket, and here we go. So this thing, let's just plunk it next to our igneous extruder for the moment. This thing, oh, I need to power it with MJ. Oh, yes, okay. So my thought was I could use an electrical engine, which translates EU to MJ. This produces EU. Uh, to power the magma crucible. So it would pull power from this, uh, uh, this burns lava, to power the, uh, the engine, which powers the magma crucible, which produces lava, which powers the engine. So, uh, if I can set up that nice circular, well, you know, if I'm doing that, uh-oh, guess I need an iron picker better to get that. Um, I don't think, yeah, this is a thermal expansion machine, so it's, oh, what? Really? I'm worried that's gonna break it. Um, not actually sure how to pick this up, so if I... Hmm... Do I wanna risk it? Uh... Yeah, alright, let's... Well, hang on, let's try punching it. Okay, okay, that's, that's fast enough that we know it'll pick it up. Even stone will do it. It's just really slow to mine. Yeah, we're good. Um, so let's put this here. Well, that's not where I wanted it. Anyway, uh, I'm going to fiddle with this for a little bit, and we'll be back once we maybe have something up and running. Oh, well, this is cool. I was in here uh, breeding and slaughtering my cows, and it seems I came at just the right time to see the uh, to see the calves grow up. Yep, yep, you saw one go right there. So I guess it's just a fixed length of time before they grow up. Ha! <laughs> that's pretty cool. So that means we can breed them again. Quick detour from the Magma Crucible. We're going to do an enchant. I'm hoping for Silk Touch or Fortune 3. Aw. Oh. oh well. That's a cool pick. Can I have to do another? Uh, I'm sure I'll be level 30 again in no time, given that we were 46 when we did that. Probably would be level 30 if it... Uh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, back to fiddling around with the Magma Crucible. Slight change of plans. Since we have so much peat, instead of an electrical engine, we're going to use a peat engine for uh, our... Um, uh, magma crucible. So to build one of those, you just need two copper gears, three copper, a piston, and a piece of glass, and we have a peat-fired engine. So this produces MJ. If I plunk it here, it will power the magma crucible. If I put some peat into it and turn it on, if I have a lever. I do not uh, make one. Uh, and um, yeah, so we need some peat. I have some in one of these chests. Here we go. And we also need to give this something to turn into lava. So let's start with uh, nether rack, since that's the most efficient. Uh-huh, turn this on. And right, it has no fuel. There we go. So this is going to go pretty slow, because we only have one peat engine on it. This thing takes a lot of power to do its thing. But, uh, this will at least save us some trips to the nether for now. Uh, it's not gonna be that crazy circular thing I was talking about where, you know, this, this thing would just power itself. Um, but this will at least keep it filled up with lava. So, wow, that's slow. Eventually, uh, this will fill up to 4,000 and the nether rack will turn into lava. Uh, thermal expansion machines are really cool. You have this configuration thing here where, uh, you can say... You can specify which inputs and outputs are in which side of the machine. Because, like, if I look at the top of this, it's blue. That means if I put a chest there, for example, uh, with netherrack in it, it would pull... I think that's right. I might have to put a buildcraft pipe into it. Yeah, I can see this is going now. Uh, but anyway, it, it, it would accept uh, items into the blue slot that would go in here. The right side of it is red or orange, which we can't actually see. That's facing the geothermal generator. So any lava that gets put in here will just automatically get uh, shot out into whatever will accept it on, on that side. So this thing will power up our geothermal generator. Uh, so we have peat turning into lava, turning into power. I, w I don't know for sure that that's more efficient than just burning peat in a regular generator, but that's how we're going to do it. So that's what we did there. Uh, what else did I want to do for this episode? Let me check my notes. So, uh, mostly I just want to get some infrastructure for various things going. Um, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to try an experiment. I want to see 
which is generally better, thalmium or steel? Um, I want to see which has more durability, and uh, I'd like to know about the enchantability, but that's not going to be too easy to see. Ugh, never have any sand, man. Alright, so let's macerate this up. Uh, another, right, in order to produce steel, we need a blast furnace. Uh, and a blast furnace sort of goes along with a coke oven, so let's try and build one of each of those. Um, oh, well, I have some sand in there, it's turning into glass. Well, that's fine. I'll get some out of there. Anyway, um, so a coke oven takes these coke oven bricks, which is, okay, so we need to smelt some clay and get some sand to make those. Blast furnace takes a bunch, let's see, how many of these? It's, um, mm, it's a 3x3x4 three by three by structure with two spaces in the middle, so that's 9 times 2 plus, uh, this is going to be embarrassing if I do it wrong, um, 30, 38, 34, I'm coming up with 34 of these that we need, um, so in order to do that we need a bunch of magma cream, soul sand, nether brick, uh, so nether brick can be made from nether rack in a compressor, so we'll get that going, uh, use lots of power out of this thing, but we have a magma crucible producing some for us, eventually, oh, wait, what? Why is this not doing it? Hang on. Uh, this should be melting that down. Let me check something. Uh, can I do this? Yeah, so magma... Oh, it's 8,000! Could have sworn that was 4,000! Did something change? Maybe they, uh, maybe they rebalanced it, because I'm... I'm like 90% certain that this was 4,000 MJ in my test world. Yeah. Yeah, completely certain. Okay. So that, that got doubled at some point. Alright, so this thing is not quite so cheap anymore, apparently. Yeah. Uh, so... We won't... So, we, we need to need to let those machines do their thing before we can build our coke oven and blast furnace. So I've been dying to do some beekeeping. Uh, so, in order to even start with that, we need a squeezer. So this takes bronze and tin. How much bronze and tin do we have? Still haven't gotten used to how my chests are organized. We'll get there eventually. Uh, we have a decent amount of those, and we can make bronze with them. Okay. I need a little more than that. Oh, yep. Uh, so this makes us a sturdy casing. And tin, and was it just glass? Yeah, okay, so we have a squeezer. This guy, we're just going to stick out... Uh, out here, he can do his work outside. Um, and we need an engine to power him. We'll make another peat engine. Which was just copper. Right. So. Two more gears. Gonna need another piston. Let's go ahead and just do that. Okay, there's a piston. We have glass. Oops. Nope. Need to make those copper. Uh, sounds like our macerator's done. Why do I have those split up? I don't know, let's just do all of them. Um, should probably make some more furnaces. I should probably also... Actually, yeah, let's, let's do that right now. Let's turn this into an iron furnace, because that is, uh, works the same, but is more efficient. Okay. Well, that was, that was quick. So now this will... Mm, I'm not sure how much it does with peat. Normal furnace does 10. Uh, if we put a piece of charcoal in here, it'll do 10 items instead of 8. So it's like uh, 5 fourths as efficient. Um, yeah, I'm not going to sit there and count. So, right, we're making a peat engine. Our piston, glass, copper. And we need some peat to power it. Someone's done with what they're doing. It's not you. It's you. Okay, and we have sand. We're smelting up bricks, so we'll have a coke oven pretty soon. Uh, peat. Peat is here. Just get a little bit. So what this guy does... Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and power him up and get him going. And put something in him. So this 
uh, takes, well, actually a squeezer can do a bunch of different things. What I'm going to have it doing is producing, as it goes, seed oil. Uh, it, it takes a pretty long time. You get just a tiny amount out of each seed. Uh, this is why we have the pumpkin farm, for pumpkin seeds for seed oil. So what you do with seed oil is uh, there's another forestry machine called a carpenter, which um, which takes a fluid and a crafting recipe and some MJ and outputs an item. The item we want to make with it, oh, like four pumpkins in a row, that's cool. <laughs> the item we want to make with it is an apiary, which takes one impregnated casing, which I believe requires one bucket of seed oil. Um, so it's going to take a little while. We just need to get this going and let it do its thing. We'll probably have to squeeze like nine stacks of pumpkin seeds to get enough seed oil. Well, no, hang on. So uh, I can find this out, actually. Seed oil. It's cool. You can look at the liquids here and how to get them. Uh, so, right, those don't count. Right, so we can squeeze any kind of seed to get 0 0.02 seed oil. Yep, same amount for each type. Well, any type of seed that's in the normal game. Can't put flax seeds in here or whatever, apparently. Uh, so we need... Am I correct that we need... Uh, let's see. So we need one of these to make an apiary. It takes eight logs and, yes, one bucket of seed oil. So that's... Uh, wait, is that only... Man, <laughs> trying to do math on camera. Right, that's that's only 50 seeds, isn't it? So that's not so bad. Yeah, uh, this is going a little slow, but yeah, yeah, okay. So after 50 seeds, we can put them into a capsule or a can. Capsules are made with beeswax, and we don't have any bees yet, so we can't do that. So we're going to make cans out of tin. I have tin on me. Uh, there's several different types of can you can make. There, there's, yeah, so like that is can. Like this is empty cell, and like this is tin can. These aren't too useful. These are just for canned food, which isn't too great. Uh, you can make a canning machine, which will turn. Um, uh, you you can put you can put rotten flesh in it and turn it into something that doesn't give you any hunger debuff or anything. Same with spider eyes; doesn't poison you. But a can of food only restores one hunger bar. Uh, so it's not too great. Uh, I'll harvest that later. Um, yeah, so we got our seed, seed oil squeezing. Uh, we need a carpenter in order to actually craft the... I hear that my machines are quiet. Um, why is this going so slow? Why is it not going at all? Oh, does it take more than one nether rack to... Does it do, like, four at a time? Well, huh? Wait. Uh, uh, wait, I can do this. R... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Three nether rack to one nether brick. I thought it was one to one. Apparently not. Okay, uh, how many of these do we need? Blast furnace... <laughs> if my math is right, I mean, 34 of these divided by 4 is, well, um, some, yeah, oh, right, uh, one per, okay, so 34 nether brick is what we need, I think I have enough soul sand, now I do not have enough magma cream, we can macerate these to get a lot more blaze powder, uh, okay, pulverizer, ooh, that's cool, um, Yes, macerate is the most efficient. Gives us five each. So that would give us ten. But that's not enough, because we need more magma cream than that, right? No, that is enough. Okay, let's get those macerating. No reason to keep them around, right? Uh, what can I do with these, just out of curiosity? Well, I just looked at that. Um, huh. Do you know what this is? Yeah, nothing else crucial. So let's macerate them. And, yeah. Uh, so, right, we need 34 of those, so we need to put a lot of nether rack in there. I'm actually short on nether rack. Gonna have to go to the nether and mine some, or get some nether bricks since there's a fortress right there. Yeah, that's probably what I should do, because I want this for... I'm pulling them out like that, because I don't want to interrupt it. Uh, I want these for um, 
for this guy, the Magma Crucible. Well, he must have done his thing once. Ah, we can see it, because uh, it's getting close to 8,000 here. Huh. Trying to do so many things at once, I'm not keeping track of them. Right, so we're building a carpenter is one of the things we're doing. And actually almost recorded an episode's worth of footage. Yeah, uh, I, I wanna, I'm going to watch this thing do its, do its thing. But uh, carpenter takes a whole lot of bronze. Okay, so we have a sturdy casing and that. You going to do it? You going to do it? Okay, so that gets to 8,000. Then this fires up. And it drains its power, and slowly, little by little, turns the netherrack into lava. So that'll go into here if uh, it can't go anywhere else. Uh, otherwise, it'll go into the geothermal generator. So while we wait for that to go, we'll build our uh, carpenter. Uh, need a little more bronze yet. Oh, it's so nice to actually have the resources to do stuff like this, because uh, before it was just really rough. Okay, so we have a carpenter. I'm gonna put it, oh good grief. So I think in between this episode and the next, I'm gonna have to um, do some off-camera house expansion because I just don't have any space in here. Um, yeah, so let's talk about that a little bit. Uh, oh, hang on, let's check our magma crucible. He's still going, just about done. Uh, so I'm just gonna... What I think I'll do is make, dig out the area under this, make this the attic, like I mentioned before, and turn sort of this whole area all around here into a big room. I don't know how big I'll make it, but probably pretty big. And yeah, um, that'll be our house. So, uh, that's what I'm going to do off camera between this episode and the next. Left that door open. Oh, oh, he's done. And most of his lava went out, but not all of it. So I'm guessing if I consume just a little bit more power out of this. Uh, say a macerated piece of cobblestone. Oh yeah, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha can see that going in here. Okay, cool. So, I'm happy with that. Uh, this will just go as long as it has peat and nether rack. Which, uh, yeah, do that. There's also an item you can put on top of these things. I wanted to, uh, use one of these things, but I didn't want to do it off camera. Um... You can make a hopper, which is a little thing you can just... Let's see, I need a wooden gear for this. I think it's a wooden gear. You can just stick it on top of a uh, machine or something you want to keep fed. Nope, it's a stone gear. Oh, unless it's like this. Yeah, it's a stone gear. Um, going by memory, at least. I might be wrong about that, too. There we go. Uh, so this hopper can be plunked on top of any machine, so if there's no nether rack in there, I can just put stack uh, up to four stacks in here, and it'll just feed it in slowly into whatever slot is on that. It is a little bit annoying because it has to go directly on top of the thing, so you have some uh, spatial challenges with that, but you can also use build craft pipes to put stuff into different sides of an item, uh, of a uh, uh, machine, uh, hmm, container. Ooh. Uh, right, so we need a peat engine for our carpenter. That's why I made this, and I don't have copper gears. All right, so there's that. Uh, let's see here. This, um, yeah, so you put liquid in here. Let's see how much seed oil we have. I really doubt we have enough yet, but maybe we do. Oh, yeah, yeah, looks like we might have a buck. Oh, no, we have to wait until this can fills up. Uh, so it's very close. Uh, that'll any moment this will uh, fill up. Yep, there it goes. Cool. Got to see it happen. So yeah, hey, I think I can make an apiary right now. That is awesome. Give me some more peat. Only need like one. Um, gonna turn this on. That might have been premature, but that's okay. All right, so we give this some seed oil. Give it some wood. This thing's a little weird. So you tell it the recipe here, then you give it materials, and it crafts it for you. I don't want to do more than one yet. Uh, I can't anyway, because it takes that much seed oil. So this will slowly creep up as that powers up from that. And when it's done, it'll give us our impregnated casing. And with that, we can make an apiary, which is like that. So we need some wooden slabs. My inventory is crazy clogged uh yep 
Um, right, so we had this sanded brick on us so we could make coke oven brick. And we need how many of those? Um, 9 times 3 minus 1, so 26 of them. Uh, yeah, 26 of these. I do not have enough bricks for that, so let's smelt some more clay and macerate some more cobblestone to get sand. Sweet, our carpenter's done. We have our impregnated casing, uh, so I can make some wooden slabs. Plunk that there. And we have an apiary! Beautiful! Uh, let's go ahead and put some bees in it right away. Inventory's a disaster! Uh, Pete, put away the... Uh, yeah, that Pete can go there. That's fine. Um, brown wool? Oh yeah, I murdered that one sheep. <laughs> uh, so... That's a little better. Uh, so I want some bees. Meadows should be fine. Eh, this is a good place as any. Uh, we need some flowers. Bees require flowers. There's one. I think just one will do it. So I'll take this over here. Whew, frame rate's dropping over there. Good grief. It's fine over here. Anyway, so it just has to have a flower in the vicinity. The bees will actually plant some flowers on their own. So I put a princess there, a drone there. Oh, hang on, hang on. I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, we need a frame in here of some sort. We'll just use an untreated, uh, untreated frame. So eight sticks and a piece of string three times. Sure, I have some string in here. Uh, you are running, but you're not producing anything. So let's do. Oh, because you don't have any seed oil. Okay, let's just turn you off. I'll get to that later. Build more apiaries for more bees. So right, we need three pieces of string, which are in here, and eight sticks. Or sorry, um, twenty-four sticks. Doing a lot of on-camera math here. Probably got lots of these numbers wrong. I'm gonna watch it back. I'm like, what was I thinking? I do that every every episode. <laughs> Pretty much every episode I say something regrettable. Oh well, that's just the, the way it goes. Oh, but not not the squeezer. Don't want to squeeze them. So, put these in here. These uh speed up production of bees, and I think they make the um make them produce more honeycombs. I'm not entirely sure about that. But anyway, so those breed, and now I have a queen. Uh, sending her drones out to look for flowers, and once they find them, which they will, because there's one right here, I think it's like, uh, f four, as long as it's within four blocks, it'll be fine. Uh, and this meter should start going down. Should start going down. Well, eventually this will start going down, assuming she's happy, which I think she is. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Uh, it's using up durability on these, so they don't last forever. These are the shortest lasting ones. I can also make impregnated frames, which also involves seed oil. And uh, you can buy proven frames from villagers, which last a real long time. So, once this hits the bottom, uh, actually, while this goes down, we'll be getting honeycombs in here. And um, once this hits the bottom, we'll get two drones and a new princess, I believe, from Meadows. Some bees produce more drones at a time. Uh, Meadows, I believe, only produce two. So we can breed those back up to keep going with uh, beekeeping stuff. Now, in order to use the output of an apiary, we need a centrifuge, which is, okay, copper and a sturdy casing. Yep. Uh, yep, got, uh, oh, no, no, I'm short by one copper. Do I have any more? I do not. Okay, so we're going to have to transmute it. So that takes... Well, anyway, um, <laughs> I really better wrap this up because it's getting long. Let's see if we can build some coke oven bricks first. Um, see how many we can get out of this. Did I do that right? I think I did that backward. Yeah, I did that backward. Yeah. Um, so... That gives us not as many as we need. I need more, oops, need more bricks, probably need more sand. So we'll get started with this at least. Uh, take a sleep. So the Coke oven is um, 
crucial for railcraft um, because it burns wood or coal. I would choose wood because coal can be turned into diamonds uh, to produce charcoal or coal coke. And um, coal coke is like coal. It's just a higher density fuel. It does it gives you more. Oh, 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 hey, guy. Don't you be ruining my day. <laughs> Another reason I really need to expand my house, because I'm doing all this stuff outside, and it is dangerous. So, um, yeah, we need one, two, three, four, five. Did I count that right? Yeah, six more coke oven bricks. Should be able to do that, maybe. Uh, yeah, I think we should be able to do that. Right, uh, so it, it turns those things into higher density fuel and produces creosote oil as it does that. Creosote oil is a crafting ingredient in rails. So if I want to do any minecart tracks, oops, that's only five. How do I only make five? Uh, if I'm going to do any minecart tracks of any kind, I'm going to need to have this thing going. Let's bring some wood if I have any extra. Seriously, I need to learn how my chests are organized. Yeah, let's let's uh, let's get a whole stack. I can chop more. So we put this in this structure. Can't even. Well, I can do it from here. There's a hole in the middle. Wow, I did miscalculate. We need one more. Ha ha ha! Ah. CRBs are doing. I really need to wrap this up, but I want to get this built first. Okay, here we go. We got our last coke oven brick. When I place this, it should... Yep, gets a little window here. We can stick our wood into it. Uh, and it will very, very, very slowly produce charcoal and some creosote oil. Uh, which we can pull out later to craft... Well, I won't take you through the whole thing, but anyway, we need it to craft uh, minecart tracks. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to wrap it up here before I uh, want to do anything else. Uh, we are getting our infrastructure together. Off camera, I'm going to expand my home. Try not to do too much else exciting so we won't miss it. And yeah, I'll see you back here with a much larger house. See you guys next time.